Okay, come to Euro Aussie then. This has been this has been really nice to trade. This week we during the week in the session we identified we've seen the break we've seen the, the momentum break from this period of coiling consolidatory action in the Euro Aussie. We had a nice momentum break here. As we know the market never goes anywhere in a straight line. We have the pullback, we were, we were able to draw our gift in. We break the gift in the previous day's low and we had a lovely push down through the momentum low at the 131 to post a new low which was smack bang on these previous two lows at 129.25 so this price action has been this is played out beautifully this week and this is what we've been looking at now as you can see where we are in the price action now is we're right in the middle of the 129.25 and the 131.01 that's going to represent our trade plan again the Aussie is in an uptrend the euro has been weak and we don't have a failure uh, necessarily yet Yep, we've we've taken into we've taken into account this low and that's a very relevant that's a very relevant point. Now strictly speaking the structural buy would not be therefore until we take out these highs here. But if we're looking for if we're looking for a short term move back up to this high or even maybe this momentum low here the market's shown us that it hasn't as yet wanted to push down and break these lows given that the we can have a near term we can have a near term buy point at the 131.01 because momentum precedes price yes this has this momentum low has preceded lower prices but the low has failed to take out the two lows from the beginning of the year here so this is the price actually just giving us an indication of you know, it's certainly if nothing else it's respecting these lows So if we move back above the the previous momentum low at 131, we just might get a push up um, at least to this this significant point here. So in terms of where we're positioning ourselves on the short side. Um, that's an obvious level, the 129.25, that sticks out like a sore thumb. Below that, you are short. So the structural shorts, 129.25. The structural long, structural long, I'm going to have as the 131.01. Okay, the 131.01 is going to be our structural long. It's not a failure, structural failure as such, a you know a macro trend reversing point but it's a point where we can get a reversal maybe of this momentum here maybe these shorts that we're getting in here just might be getting out at the momentum low above this we have these two points that will give us these are the more con excuse me These two points here will go some way to confirming the upside. So we have these three levels. The first level 
the first level that we break could take us to the the 132.26. If we move through the 132.26, we're then looking at the 133.21, and so each time the market moves through the significant levels, the stronger the opportunity is for it to follow through to the upside. But the point at 131 is the first opportunity of the three, which is why we're, we're taking it as our first structural long. So 131.01. Going to the 200 tick, it's not going to be too far away. Now, what we've got here then in the Euro Aussie is consolidation at the one day high. Uh, because the market is moving broadly sideways, it's quite it's moving sideways in a reasonably volatile manner. Um, you see the market side is is flat, so there's no direction on this. So to avoid getting caught up in this, we need to be trading the peripheries of this move. So we're going to take the long at 130.78. Now, because our structural long is 131.01, you may want to wait for the 131.01 to be to be hit before you go long. But in terms of this 200 tick chart, this is our first buy point. So the long is 130.78. And bear in mind that the structural long is 20 pips above this. If you're going long at the 130.78, your long stop ideally wants to accommodate the daily high. So your long stop wants to be at 130.35. So if you're going long at 130.78, if you can manage it, your long stop is 130.35. So just below this daily high, one day high. The short side then, we're going to take the most relevant price point below the consolidation area, which is the 130 dead, pretty much. So the short point indicated by the red line is the 130. And again, short stop if you can take into account the one day high please do however 130.25 i.e. Taking, taking these two lows having your stop the other side of these two lows will do so the short point is 130 your short stop will be the 130.25. Okay, so above these two lows here. Okay, there's your, your Aussie. 